frustration of the drivers seemed little compared to that of exporters, the owners and investors of the content of the containers which are time bound for delivery at the set out destination. This country prides itself so well on farming and agriculture. That is what employs more than 70% of Nigerians. But now, without an outlet to sell, what do you think will happen to the farmers? The price fell, farmers in, are in abject poverty, things are getting worse every day. The crime rate is improving, is increasing. You can see the S-men, farmers fighting in every part of Nigeria, and the crisis is brewing very strong, very, very strongly. And it's going to have a multiplier effect on the economy, which also already is, uh, is uh, already happening. That road is the only road to export agricultural commodities. And the road has been blocked for more than one year. Exports from Nigeria has become a nightmare. More companies are running away from exporting commodities from Nigeria because uh, we don't have competitive advantage. There are countries that produce more. Their quality will get better because if you keep uh, agricultural commodities for a long time, the quality detritus. Nobody wants to buy again. The quality of destination in the last one year has been a nightmare. For example, I, I, sh I tried to ship cashew um, precisely in January. I'm in February, sorry. It stayed at the port for 95 days. Yesterday, we told the custom APMT South Marine to open the containers. It has started growing. It has become, it's becoming plants inside the containers because it has stayed there for how many months. A company that is losing money will not, definitely not employ more people. In fact, we are at the point of uh, sacking some and uh, even in the wells, we have started reducing the number of laborers in the wells. And those are the contrast terms. We have to because uh, there's no business we want to do. It's, it's so bad that our loss consistently per month has been increasing uh, seriously from January to now. We are, it's a negative balance at the end of every month. Even the state government, represented by the Wharf Landing Fees Authority, has been feeling the pinch. The law says you pay 1,000 Wharf Landing Fees for 40 feet container and 500 for, 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 for 20 feet container. That's all. Now for you to collect that money, there must be access. You know, previously, every local government will just mount a roadblock. You say, okay, you are passing, you are damaging our roads, you have to give us money. So Lagos State Government came in and said, okay, let us harmonize these things and have one central pool where you collect this money and it's shared quarterly. And the fees are meant for local governments. It does not enter into the state cover. cover. The money is for the 20 local governments and 37 LCDs. And at the end of every quarter, Every three months, they share the money to all the local governments and LCDs with all with the local governments and LCDs domiciled very close to the ocean, getting a lion's share, like a papa, a Jeremy Falodo, a Mwadofi, Uriade. These are the, the, the local governments that get the lion's share because they are very close. They are the ones that suffer what is going on. And this, if you... If you see the, the nature of our roads now and go to anybody living in Apapa here, they will tell you what they suffer every day. Understanding the issues of the traffic has attracted words such as complex and multifaceted. Is the issue with the roads, which obviously require a lot of attention? Members of the Special Task Force have been constituted to control traffic as a result of the spill from the port. 
The task force, which was constituted in November 2017, comprises of 400 officers equally contributed by the Nigeria Police Force, Lagos State Traffic Management Agency, LASMA, and the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, the NSCDC. Getting here now, I have spent almost, here is area B, I have spent almost 5,000. And for you to enter into the port, it takes almost 40 to 45,000. What is the money for? The money is just MPA, police, and other agencies. And it's a, it's a, it's a, I'm, I'm just let people know, it's just a, a organized crime. It takes two to tango. The public should help us. You don't rule out that um, in a system you will get one or two bad eggs who may want to engage in things like that. But I remember the day uh, the, the, we the heads met and we, 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 even with the chairman, the directive was very, very explicit. Any member of any services that misbehaves uh, should just withdraw the person from that task force. And when you are mean misbehave, you understand what I mean, that compromises. They should just identify such a person and withdraw him from there. The chairman should just make recommendation to the service where he's coming and the person will face uh, in-house um, or the room trial as the case uh, may be. But again, I think the public, and that's why I say, when I say the public, even including the tanker drivers and all, should also help us. I know there are some levels of inducements that is also, you know, somebody wanting to uh, influence this uh, voice. For example, if people see uh, personnel of the task force um, uh, compromising, all of us, they all have name tag, they all have their service, their ID cards like this. Uh, the, if they have a vehicle that where they are, you also look at it, you see the body code and make reports because those of us who are their heads, we're not always there 24 hours in a day. But one thing again is the issue of our papa. It's a very complex issue. If you also see somebody in uniform there, please be sure that he's also a member of the tax force. Because a lot of things are going on in our papa that you you know somebody a, a, another a, somebody from another a, from one of the services who is not a member of this can come in is not a member of the tax force and now do one thing or the other and it will still be attributed to the tax force so we also need to be mindful of that. Mm -hmm.